Hi, Mark Diaz here for 2DAnimation101.com. In this lesson, we are going to trace this character. We already know how to use the drawing tools and how to transform our drawings, how to edit them, how to edit the fill, the stroke, and the width. We even learned how to use verbal width. Okay, now in this lesson, we are going to trace this character. First thing is I have this layer right here layer one I'm going to rename it just click on the name wait half a second and then I type Steve now I press A to select the add points tool and I want to maintain those colors I want white for the fill and black for the stroke and for the width I will leave it as 8 now let me zoom in remember I'm using the mouse wheel and I will disable sharp corners let's start drawing okay so I have the shape and I know how to transform it I just press T then control to deselect and move some points around and if I want I can play with the curvature tool I just press C and move the points as I need them actually this point right here is going to be deleted and just increase that one let me fast forward this little process now one tip is that the less points you have the better because it's easier to animate okay and now that I have the shape I want I just with the transform tool click on the shape press ctrl D and randomize from 0 to 250 and just use a version that I like maybe I'm going to drop this number a little bit to maybe 200 yeah I think that's better and there I have it if I want I can just press W and fix some details if in case I want to ch make some changes that's it let me press ctrl U and this is what I have so far I press ctrl U again and you know what I'm deciding that I don't like the black so what can I do well remember if you use the transform tool select the shape and you want to change the fill or the stroke you won't be able to affect anything look the style is disabled so for that remember we need to use the fill tools the first one which is the shape selector tool now I can click on it and now I can change the stroke let me change the stroke to maybe some gray there I think that's better now I press ctrl U again and I'll draw the face I will trace this face and for this as you can see we have some shape here right but there's no line in here so I'm going to draw a shape like this okay and then I'm going to hide the line using a new tool okay I'm going to introduce you to a new tool let's do that let me use the add points tool and draw that shape there maybe use the transform tool control click on an empty space select that point and delete it the less points you have the better remember okay now I want to hide an area actually from here I want to hide this section right here how do I do that well I can press H or select one of the fill tools which is the hide edge tool and then just click to hide the edges there and then I can just press W or select the width tool and make this go to zero okay let me press ctrl W and well maybe bring this a little bit up great now I'm going to use circles for this just select the shape tool use the circle and I will disable outer stroke I just want to fill and the fill will be black then I can click and drag and that creates an ellipse you see if I hold shift that constraints and creates a circle right 
I'm holding shift. Now, if I hold alt, that creates a circle from the center. I'm holding alt and shift. That's it. Now, I, pre I, I press T to select the transform tool and move it to here. Let's see how it looks. Control U. Yes, I'm liking it. Press Control U again. And then I can just duplicate those two shapes. With the transform tool, I just click on the shape of the eye, then on the pupil, holding shift, then press Control C, Control V. And I have a duplicate of both. Now, if I want to flip it, I can just use this little function right here. With this, I can flip horizontally or I can flip vertically. I will flip horizontally. There you go. And I can rotate a little bit if I put my cursor in this area. You put it there and you will see that you can rotate your image. Now let's put it in the correct place and then just move the pupil to its correct place right here. I press Ctrl U and I'm liking it. Press Ctrl U again and then let's draw the smile. I use the add points tool and then draw this kind of insecure smile. Now in order to have the fill and the stroke affecting I need to close this shape so I will close it. Ping. And because I just created it I can change the fill. Let's change it to white only when you just created the shape. If not, I would have to use the shape selector tool. Okay, now let me use the curvature tool, control click on an empty space and make this point sharp and also this one. And then I just press H and hide this line. I can also select it from the fill tools, the hide edge tool. Okay. It's working. Now I'm going to create this little expression lines. But first let me change a little bit the width. I press W and bring this down a little bit. Just make some changes there and then I'm ready to draw the expression lines. Just click. Now be careful. I don't want to weld this. If I release my mouse here, it will add to that shape. I don't want that. So for that, I can hold Alt to disable the auto welding, you see? Now let me show you something that can happen and some problems that can be fixed. As you know, you can follow the instructions up here and use the Alt key, okay? But there's a danger by using the Alt key. Right now I'm holding Alt key, okay? Yes, everything looks normal, right? But then I try to connect the points and what happens is not creating a shape. Why? Well, let me zoom in. Let me show you why. The points, I can try to, okay, just change the curvature. Well, it's not changing. It's not working. Why? Because look, those two points are not connected. And actually, nothing is connected. Why? Because I was holding Alt the whole time. Okay, so let me delete all those shapes. So the way to do it is, yes, using Alt, let me use the Add Points tool. Yes, you, you use Alt, but only here. You just click and drag, and only in this little moment, I'm going to hold Alt, then release the click. Now I release the Alt key and keep drawing. But this is important. You only have to use Alt only two points that you don't want together. Then you release Alt and you continue drawing all the other points. Okay? Let me do that again. I use the Transform tool. Delete. I use the Add Points tool. Then I click and drag. I hold Alt only in this point. Alt. Release the click. Then I release Alt. And then I again click and drag from that point. Great. Then I press H to hide all the edges I don't want. Then use the curvature tool. 
and bring actually sorry let me press control click and then bring the curvature of those all the way down and maybe bring this up then I press W and bring those shapes like this uh, maybe now this is tricky I have to zoom in to change the width of that little line and now to keep things very simple and very quick I can just click on that shape copy paste and flip it and this will be the one I use on this side and remember you can rotate it and if I want I can use the transform points and put this in place whoops careful selecting points you don't want now let me press Control U to see how it's going great now when you want to preview your work, those lines, you see this, the, the sketch lines right here. If you want to hide all the little points, all the vector lines and points, you can use a very cool shortcut. You can press Control Shift C and that hides the curves. And then I press Control Shift C to keep working, okay? Or you can also uncheck this Show Curves checkbox. Click on it. Okay, you can enable or disable it or press Control Shift C, which is what I use. So I'm liking it so far. Let me bring them back, press Control U, and I can keep drawing. Now, let me explain a little bit about the order of your shapes. Let me, let me draw the neck real quick using fast forward. Okay, so that's the neck. Now, check this out. If I press Ctrl U, I have the neck above the head. So, I want to change the order, but I don't have the neck on a different layer. Everything is on the same layer. So, how can you change the order of your shapes? How can you put a shape behind another one? Well, very easily with the Shape Selector tool. Just click on it, select the shape you want, and then press up or down and you bring it back. If I press up, I bring it forward or I press down and I bring it backwards. There you go. Now let me select the transform tool and hide the curves. Now if I want to preview it, you will notice that there is this little shape here. I don't want to see it. So if I don't want to see it, what you need to do is click on an empty space to deselect all shapes and that hides it okay very good let me press home okay I'm liking it okay so now that you know the basics and extra details you can continue doing this on your own remember the new tools we learned today is the hide edges okay that you can use to hide any part of your outline or stroke and also you learn how to change the order of your shapes by just selecting them and press up in your keyboard to bring them up or press down to bring them back. Okay, great. Now I'll continue drawing this character in fast forward. Oh, but just a quick note, try to have every part in a different shape. For example, the left arm should be separated from the body like the right arm right here because when we do animation I want to separate those shapes in different layers okay of course if you want you can create a new layer uh, a new vector layer and then start drawing right but just as a personal preference I like to draw everything on the same layer and then I separate it you can do it however you want I will just draw everything on the same layer, okay?
Okay, there. Now, some things I did to save time is that for the shape of the legs, I just used the exact same shape. I just take the right leg, control copy, and then paste it. These are two exact copies. And for the right arm, I just created a duplicate. I just selected this one, and then control, shift, and select the remaining points, and then copy paste, put it here, and then just edit some points. And then I just added the thumb, okay? You see, those two, the left and the right are exact copies, except for some points here that I moved, and then I just added the thumb, okay? And so we have a character. Oh, and by the way, another way to previewing, you can press Control Shift C to hide the curves, right? Or you can also use the eyedropper tool. This one, one of the layer tools. You can click on it and that shows you a cleaner version of your work. I just access it using the letter N and then I can press T and continue working and then press L to preview my work. Okay, great, that's how you trace a character. Now, in the next lesson, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about cutout animation and why we want the left arm to be all the way here instead of in its correct place. Okay, all of that will be explained in the next lesson. See you there. <music>